what do you think the Belichick philosophy is going to be at quarterback since obviously there's only, as my buddy Chris Brockman said earlier on, Brady's a one of one. There's only one subset of, mm-hmm. of TB12 where, you know, when he does get paid top of market, you're at a point of time in, in, in the NFL food chain, if you will, in 2010 before the new collective bargaining agreement where six and 60, if that's in fact right around the neighborhood, that, that's that's one and a half years of <laughs> of Dak Prescott's current four-year deal that he just made. Uh, what is their philosophy going to be? Just uh, go and draft one while Cam hopefully continues to win or hope that Cam is that guy? Like, what do you think their philosophy is going to be to try and build this thing back for New England, Tom? I think, as you've heard before, people say sometimes not making a decision is making a decision. And the Cam Newton thing, that's a placeholder. That's a CYA move. In case nobody else shakes loose, at least we had Cam in place in early March so that we could say when free agency began, yes, we have a player. His name is Cam Newton. Didn't look great last year, but you're going to be part of the reason he looks better this year. But as for what would happen, because it is a reasonable contract, especially when you prorate it over two years, say he makes $9 million over two years, if he doesn't become the starter here, it's very reasonable for, for Cam Newton services. So they can also still wait for a Jimmy Garoppolo to shake loose from the tree or a Sam Darnold or see what kind of dominoes fall post uh, Deshaun Watson. If that makes any kind of a, you know, if there's movement there, but it basically to me, Rich announces, no, thank you on Ryan Fitzpatrick. Appreciate it. But no, thanks also on Mitch Trubisky. We would prefer not to have, you know, Alex Smith, all of those players of that ilk have now been passed on in favor of Cam Newton. If nothing else shakes free, well, we'll see how it goes. But I just don't think that the plan really has crystallized for them because they don't control their own destiny, so to speak. They can't guarantee, for instance, that if I put this package together, I can go get Trey Lance. And they can't go to the Niners and say, we're going to give you this package for Jimmy Garoppolo because they're going to look at him and say, well, what are we supposed to do? We don't know if we're going to get Kirk Cousins or Deshaun Watson or anybody else. So it's kind of a waiting game, I think. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.